Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Today's video, Wally's head is going to get polished. What? What the fuck? His Kramer headstock, you goof. Ah! Alright, so I got a little bit of a jump start on Wally's Kramer headstock and uh, so I knocked down the wall that was around the truss rod area but as you can kind of see with the light glare those two areas on each side still need to come down they're not flush yet so what I need to do is even this thing out I got the rest of the headstock pretty much evened out pretty good wet sanding, wet sanding with 800 grit sandpaper I want to cut slow even and not dig into this thing with a lot of scratches so I'm going to go ahead and level this, get that done, and then go over the whole headstock again. So I'm just going in a circle motion here, flat. Try not to apply any pressure on each uh, uh, side of the headstock. And then I go and kind of go through the rest of the headstock so I don't create uh, a low spot in one area. So after reviewing the video that I just made, I kind of noticed that there's still a high spot on each side of the truss rod cover area. So I want to knock that down. I don't want that there. I want to get rid of it. So back to wet sanding, even though I just polished it.
So this is the sad part of the video coming towards the ending and I experienced a little bit of a problem with the tuners that came on this guitar. So the holes are drilled out, tuners slide in, not a big deal with that, um, but there is a problem with the tuners. So these guys here, I could thread the nut on and it's not sliding down the shaft when I put pressure on it and they thread. These three are okay. These guys, however, well, as soon as I put this on, it slides down. It skips teeth. As soon as I put this one on, it slides on. This slides on quite a bit. Same thing with this one here. This one even goes a little bit further. This is almost half the threads that it slides down. The threads on the nut are good, but the threads on the inside sleeve are bad. And there's not much I could do to fix it. I mean, I could bend the outside sleeve a little bit but that's kind of like tearing it and I'm not going to do that so I ordered a set of Calusos that are a two pin just like these guys are now I could have ordered a used set of Kramer um, tuners but I could be risking having the same problem as far as uh, you know stripped out tuners can't do much with that so I could take my chances and end up with a three good ones and three bad ones again, or I can end up with four bad ones and still be out, you know, a tuner that I need. So there's not much more I can do with this for right now. Uh, the nut fits on there. The locking nut fits on there fine. I have to get um, a couple of washers to put behind it. Um, Otherwise, the screws kind of come through the top over here, and that's not supposed to happen. And I looked on the inside of here, and the shelf is not broken. That's inside there. It's still intact and everything. So for some reason, the you know they just come up. Unless there's supposed to be another. There's one washer, which is a lock washer. Unless there's supposed to be another washer in there too, but uh, there was only a lock washer for each screw. So not much more I can do. Sad to say, and. Uh, I'm closing up shop for tonight. The neck is basically, uh, it's ready to go. I gotta make a cover for over here. And uh, let's see, I gotta clean up a little bit of rubbing compound in this corner over here. So what I wanna do is I wanna put a see-through cover over here. And uh, just like I'm gonna do with everything else. So that's what I'm planning on doing with that. Yep. Uh, old guitar you know what can you say you guys take it easy have a good one thanks for watching uh wally in the box i got you covered take care